Hey everybody. I just wanted to do this quick video on breaking through the barriers of the mind. Uh, today, just for an example, I got up. Well, yesterday I actually set the intentions that I wanted to go for a run today. And so when I got up, uh, just some circumstances happen, you know, life, I was in a bad mood. I was feeling just not energetic at all. It was raining out, still is raining out, was really dark out. And my whole being just didn't want to go for a run. But what I told myself the night before was I was going to go for a run. I was going to set the intentions to make sure that I go for a run because I know no matter However, I'm feeling when I do a workout, I know mentally I'm going to feel so much better after and that I know that when I keep to my word, I am going to empower myself. And this is super important because every single time you guys, you know, we keep our word to ourself, that is by far the most important thing that we can do and need to do. Because if we, you know, and I know it really sucks and it's not cool when we say some, say that we're going to do something for somebody else and, you know, we don't end up doing it, but it's far more valuable and important um, to our spirit, to our soul, to who we are as a human being when we keep the word, our word to ourself. So I'm saying this to you because this doesn't just go for exercise. This goes for any type, any part of your life where you tell yourself you're going to do something and then you don't end up doing it. Every single time you don't do it, it's like you're tearing a piece of you away. You're tearing a piece, you're tearing a piece of your spirit away. And then what happens is that you stop trusting yourself. You stop believing in yourself. And your self-empowerment and your self-worth starts to depreciate. This is absolutely true because this is what I used to do in the past in my teens and when I was in my 20s and early 30s is that I would set all of these big intentions and goals for myself and I wouldn't follow through. Why would I not follow through? For various reasons. Number one, fear. Number two, because things got hard. Things got really hard because when you set your intentions to do something that's completely out of your comfort zone or when you know that it's going to benefit you, but again, it's going to be tough and you're going to have to move through obstacles that you're not used to, you stop yourself because our brain, our mind, how the human mind works is that we like to stay in that feeling of comfort <clears throat> and that when we start to move out of that comfort zone, our mind actually starts to make up excuses why we should go back, why we should stay in our old ways of living, because that is just how we operate as humans. So when those excuses start to come up and when we start to make up whatever reasons that seem valid at the time to not accomplish the goals and go forth with what we wanna do, we need to know in advance setting the intentions, come hell or high water, no matter what my mind tells me, I'm going to push through this. So today, yes, I did go for a run. Yes, that is such a tiny little thing compared to, you know, the bigger things in life like career and creating your own company or, you know, setting goals to uh, build a new house or I don't know what it is, whatever your goals are. I have promised myself a few years ago that I was going to keep my word to myself. And what that started to do to me is I started to build more confidence with who I am as Shannon. And I started to increase my self-worth because I started to trust myself. And when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. If it's hard, if I fail 10 million times, I'm still going to get up and try again. Am I going to stay flat on my back for a couple days and whine and complain and bitch about how I have been failing? Yes, but guess what? I know I'm going to get back up and I'm going to continue on my journey to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish. So today I went for my run in the rain when it was crappy out and guess what? I had a freaking great run. I actually did an amazing time today and I wasn't expecting that. But that's what happens in life is when we set intentions and we make ourselves do it, typically what happens is that even better things come out of that than we expect. And you know what, you guys? 
if you try for something in life and you don't accomplish it, that is not a failure. That is not a failure. What's a failure is if you don't even try. If there's something you want to do and you don't even get up and try to do it, that is failure. But if you get up and you try and you are you don't become successful or don't attain the goals that you want and you have tried multiple ways over the years, you have just learned what not to do. And you've also learned how to change uh, and do a better job of what you used to do. So I hope that this has helped you in some way. And I just felt that this was a super important video to make about, you know, not giving up on yourself and that every single person in life fails. And we all learn from it if you choose to look at what you can learn from it. We can always take a bad um, situation and learn from that situation and make it a positive. Not even just like positive, like, oh, I'm gonna start thinking positive, but what you could take from that and empower your life so that you can move forward in a better light. So, love you guys, talk to you soon.